time. Until the next uh, speaker comes, so I am given a chance. Uh, and I know that you are tired of uh, uh, witnessing the broad technology. You need something new, don't you? You need something new. So I, I explored and I found that there is an experimental project in Abu Dhabi. And uh, it's called Mazdaq City. Have any one of you heard about this project? Mazdaq City? Okay, it is an experimental project and uh, it is on the way. The work is in the progress. And uh, uh, you know that Abu Dhabi is a place of uh, engineering marvels. Recently there was a construction uh, a few years back uh, which was the Capital Gate uh, Leaning Tower. That was built uh, mainly by Tamils. You can be proud of that. And every day that uh, Vishwakarma Puja was taking place there, that uh, uh, Capital Gate building. And uh, the speciality of the building is that it has a it has a tower hang of uh, 33 meters. 33 meter cantilever. And uh, that was the first time such an attempt was made and uh, they made uh, the building successfully and it is now being occupied. So, this building is not uh, very tall compared to the Burj uh, Khalifa or uh, uh, any other building in uh, Taipei 101. But uh, this is 60 to 70 uh, story tall and uh, that building has uh, that thing with all hanging. Another uh, landmark building in Abu Dhabi is uh, that the Sheikh Syed Mosque. That uh, mosque is uh, 28,000 uh, square meter, which means uh, roughly uh, 300,000, 3 lakh uh, square feet. And that mosque has a chandelier of uh, 10 meter diameter, weighing 12 tons. These are all world records. And uh, coming back uh, to Mazda, Mazda means uh, it's an Arabic word, Mazda means source. And in Mazda city, the concept is that we use only renewable energy. We don't use any fossil fuel, we don't use any, we don't uh, uh, bear any coal, or we don't use a nuclear fuel to make uh, energy. So that is why uh, we call it uh, a sustainable experiment. So it is a government project and uh, Foster Plus Partners is a British uh, architectural firm and they are the people behind this concept and uh, behind the construction and they are uh, mostly uh, following up uh, this uh, experiment and uh, uh, they are uh, so far very uh, successful. Here uh, there is a zero waste, zero waste, zero carbon and zero car. You know that our cars are uh, uh, by and large uh, using uh, fossil fuel uh, to power uh, the wheels and here there is no car. Cars are banned. No car is allowed. That uses fossil fuel. And uh, that, is, uh, that, uh, that is no waste. No waste at all. Even organic waste is being uh, incinerated and uh, it is being used as a power source. So everywhere we take energy from whatever waste we create and we make the volume or the quantity of energy to zero. So that is the concept there. And the zero carbon, which means that we are not the burning any fossil fuels. So they call it the wall city. There are uh, bumper walls, perimeter walls all around. And one side is towards the uh, sea. And there the walls are uh, not as tall as the walls that are on the other three sides. So that breeze can come in. And the dusty wind uh, is not allowed to get inside Mazda city. Dusty wind creates a lot of problem. Yesterday I am not an expert, I was already told that, as that uh, the dust will accumulate on the solar panes and it will uh, decrease the efficiency of the solar panes. So dusty wind is not allowed inside. And uh, the breeze is allowed inside. And buildings are designed in such a way that the roads are narrow so that the breeze are funneled in. Today, early morning, Mr. Um, Pradhan was saying that uh, there should be a small opening entry to the air and there should be a big uh, exit. The same uh, thing is used here. So, because of the foliage and the shapes and the narrow streets overhanging buildings, we can have high velocity breeze. 
which will uh, make the air recycling system cool. Is this okay. possible to segregate both uh, dusty wind as well as breeze, sir? How we can, I mean, segregate dusty wind and uh, breeze? By the uh, taller wall. Then we have a taller wall towards the okay. desert side, so that the wind is not allowed. The wind from the desert, dusty wind is we not allowed inside. Maybe we will uh, come to that uh, the yeah. next session. You can see that the uh, ocean oh, there, nothing. on the left side, you can see the various white patches. Waves and uh, here, on this side, uh, there is a uh, desert. And uh, this is not the actual view, this is uh, the uh, red view and you can see the compound walls and you can see that the uh, uh, vast uh, area of Mustafa City, you can see the streets, there are debased uh, institutions, there are uh, uh, businesses that will make only environmentally friendly products. There are no factories which uh, make uh, cars or any gadgets that uh, uses energy. That is the speciality of the town. And the uh, area is uh, 6 square kilometers, which means roughly uh, 2.3. 6 square meters. That means uh, uh, roughly 2 kilometers, more than 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers. That is the area of that uh, city. And its cost is 22 billion. 22 billion is a huge amount. Then you know what is the cost of that uh, Akashi Slate Bridge, which is two, which has a 2 kilometers back, between the internal pillars? It is 5 billion. 5 billion. And uh, here the uh, cost is 22 billion. It's a huge cost. Actually, Foster uh, uh, started, uh, started this design with the cost of uh, 3 billion. But in Greece, there was economic downturn and uh, so many other problems. Now, Abdabi, Abdabi also is in real trouble, economic trouble. And uh, because of that, uh, this uh, project is uh, lagging now. So it was started in 2006 and it's a 15-year project and uh, that means by, they say that by 2025 the city will be uh, functioning completely. This is what they business. You see those uh, mushroom-like uh, structures. They are uh, actually solar panels. One single pillar at the top there is a plate, a metal plate or bonding plate. And all the uh, plate, solar panels are there, which will convert to solar energy. You know that in the sun, they time there is a lot of uh, sunlight available, and that uh, energy is being transferred to electricity. So everywhere you can see these kind of uh, uh, structures, mushroom-like structures. And there's two purposes. One is to make energy, and the other purpose is to give shade to the people who are traveling by the streets. So it has two advantages. This is a shopping mall, you can see there is a track at the top and you can see two metal boxes with the glass windows. They are called personal transit, uh, uh, personal rapid transport system, PRPs. In some uh, European uh, airports already these uh, PRPs are there. You may have a question, Heathrow is this there. And uh, this, these uh, vehicles, these vehicles are traditional. They don't, need, they don't have wheels. They travel on a small, small track and uh, electricity is uh, powering it and this electricity is not coming from any power packs by any fossil fuel. They use electricity that comes from the solar panels or the uh, wind farm. We have a wind turbines in every, every building. You know that 100 feet above you can have wind, fairly fast wind and it's can create electricity and uh, that electricity also can be added to the uh, public uh, network and uh, we can use that uh, energy for uh, this uh, transport. And it's always, uh, we are using only renewable energy and uh, that uh, 50,000 people are expected to leave there. 50,000 people, but uh, there is a moving traffic there. People have to come from outside to do work. They, I told you that there are 1,500 businesses going on and people need to come from outside. So 16,000 is the moving uh, population, so altogether uh, 100,000 people will be there in the daytime. And we have to provide energy for these uh, uh, people and uh, for their businesses.
So this is a typical building uh, uh, inside the city. You can uh, see those uh, this roof uh, panel. This roof panel is uh, flat or slightly slanted, and all the roof panel you can see, you, you, there will be essentially solar panels. And uh, you can see this structure. This is not the supporting structure, and uh, these structures are made of uh, steel uh, networks. That is steel uh, structural steel, uh, tubular steel, or angles or uh, pipes being braced. Yeah.